Praise God. What a wonderful day it is to be alive today. That's a powerful word that God wants to share with us today. But I believe it's going to make the difference in your life as you walk your life out in Christ and you grow in Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter number 3 and verse number 6, it says this. Who hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit? For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Notice what the scripture says, that God has made us able ministers. In our own right, in our own right. You may not be a five-fold ministry gift, but every one of us in the body of Christ are called to be ministers of the gospel, to share that gospel with others. But here's what the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 3, 6, after it talks about how he's made us able ministers, it talks about not of the old letter, of the Old Testament that is, but of the Spirit. For it says that the letter, the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, it kills it. It takes away the life out of an individual because we can't keep it. We can't keep the old law. But because if we're under the new covenant, the, the blood covenant, the grace covenant, that the spirit, in the latter part of this verse it says, the spirit giveth us life. Isn't that awesome? Isn't it awesome to know that we are operating on a new covenant, that we don't have to try to live out the old covenant and miss the place that God wants us to be. In the event that you don't know this, you are the righteousness of God. And you didn't work for it. God just made you righteous through his son, Jesus Christ. It is the atoning blood of Jesus that makes us righteous. Then we have the right to all the benefits of being a Christian. We fall short of his glory. We can repent. We find out that we've been living below his financial best. Then we can start giving uh, as the benefits of the kingdom, we can start tithing and we can have the windows open under us. We can have the benefit of sowing seed and then all the benefits that come along with being saved. All of that comes as a result, as the result of the new covenant, the blood covenant, the grace covenant. Now, as you go in this day today, remember, oh, kill it. But it's the spirit that makes alive. I'm praying today that you have life in you. And as John 10, 10, be part of the verse says, you have that life more abundantly to the full, as the Amplified Version of the Bible says, to the full, till that life overflows. Go in peace, excel in this life, make a difference in your life, in the lives of others. God bless you.